What is going on YouTube? Welcome to Hobbies and Movies. This year Black Friday was monumental. We picked up a bunch of crap. I'm only going to show you the 4K movies and our little trip to Best Buy. So we're going to tune in to our out and about portion and then we're coming back here to show you what we got. Yeah, we're in it all. We're in the middle of everything right now. I got Erica. We're going over a stack of movies right now. It's crazy. This shit is unbelievable how packed it is. And they still have a bunch of rolls. Look at that right there. They have all the $10, $15 sets. She wants to leave the decision making to me, which makes it that much more difficult. Walking around, looking for little sneaky deals. That's a nice set actually, but that's not on sale. Black Friday for Walmart is actually only on Thursday. It was empty, it was torn to shreds. What's that? Oh, no, nah, but that's not the resident I was talking about. Look, they have uh, Warcraft for 10 bucks. I mean, this is just, this is just crack, guys. Super wild. Babe, we're just breezing through the line. Well, guys, it was a successful Best Buy trip. Even though the line wasn't that big, there's just so many people. Everybody's trying to bulldoze and get the big deals and the steals and shit. I was able to snag all the movies I wanted, to be honest. Gonna get the car to pick up Eric on the front. Super success, yeah. You got some movies in there too. She was trying to put all the blame on me, <laughs> but I'm only human after all. <laughs> There's 11 4K titles here. This was all about quality and not quantity. Usually I end up buying all these little $4 movies and going crazy with all these combo packs. This year I said, hey, I'm done collecting Blu-rays. It's strictly 4K going forward. That's why I haven't pumped out that many videos this year. I wanted to get rid of most of my Blu-rays and embark in full-fledged 4K blu-ray hunting so here we got pirates of the caribbean dead man tell no tale i love the franchise i heard so so things about it but i can't wait to watch this 4k release of it because you know disney does fantastic took them forever to get to to doing 4k uh here we got baby driver oh my god we already saw it i didn't like it she didn't like it and it's not because of Kevin Spacey scandal or whatnot. You know, I tried turning my brain off as far as Kevin Spacey goals and all that bullshit. But I just didn't really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. And maybe one day I'll do a review or just talk about why I didn't like it. But for now, I'm just going to tell you guys that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was. Um, yeah, let me just go to the next one. I, I don't want to keep talking crap about it. This one, we haven't seen it yet. It's King Arthur. This is a movie that I've been dying to watch. I love the King Arthur story. It's one of my favorite stories. Um, I've seen pretty much all of the King Arthur movies that has been released. Starring Charlie Hunnam and Jude Law. You can't go wrong. These are two good actors. Hopefully, I enjoy it. I heard it was a mess, but, you know, 4K Blu-ray. I'm sure it's going to look spectacular. This is a movie that a lot of people were mixed about because of the whole controversial... Uh, Scarlett Johansson role, it should be an Asian woman, and they picked Scarlett Johansson and the whole whitewash bullshit. But I still want to watch it. The visuals look amazing, so I can't imagine how great this shit's going to look in 4K. Another one that I had been dying to watch, which we already watched it. We opened this one already. It's uh, The Dark Tower. This movie was actually pretty good. It was short. I can't say it was sweet because I wanted more from it. I thought that this should have had that Harry Potter element. You know, having so many books out, there's so much depth to this story. I feel like they rushed it. Felt like it could have been better. But I did like Idris Alba and Matthew McConaughey's involvement in it. I thought it was really good. Uh, as far as those two actors goes, they, they, they did what they could with the role they had. And the kid in the movie was pretty good too. Um, it was an enjoyable movie. I want to see more of that story, whether it's TV or a sequel. I think the movie was good enough to pump out another one. This one we saw it in theaters. It's Fast and Furious 8. Well, Fate of the Furious. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was better than Part 7. It has a lot of fake crap. Um, but, you know, that's something that we've already gotten used to with these... Uh, uh, Fast and Furious movies and this is a movie that I was pleasantly surprised as you see here We opened it already and watched it uh, This is the mummy starring Tom Cruise. 
I'm a big fan of the original trilogy. The third one, not so much, but I still enjoyed it to some extent. So um, going into this one, I didn't know what to expect. A lot of people bashed it. They didn't like it. They didn't like how Tom Cruise basically, you know, changed the way his character was meant to be and all this crap but i really enjoyed it i thought it was awesome so did erica we really love this one i guess it'll be a guilty pleasure this is definitely not a guilty pleasure this one coming up right now this is another tom cruise flick i absolutely love oblivion this is definitely in my top 20 i don't know if it'll be in my top 10 if i ever do one of those videos but this is a movie that i just fell in love with the first time i watched it and i've seen it so many more times after my first initial watch this is a movie that I just keep going back to, and I can't wait to check it out in 4K Blu-ray. Phenomenal film for me. In my eyes, I thought it was great. Um, next up is a movie that gets bashed by left and right. It's Transformers. I, I never really cared for the human element of the film. I always cared about watching the robots fight and all those set pieces that Michael Bay does so well. That's what he. That's his bread and butter. The you know the the action. Um, but yeah, they're just fun movies for me. I just, I like watching it on 4K. I'm pretty sure that's just gonna look good. Next up is Guardians of the Galaxy. We did open this one up and watched it already. Teams Gun has done a hell of a job with these characters and everybody gets to shine. The story's good. The delivery was good. Uh, the comedic timing was good. And it's just a fun, fun uh, superhero movie. And we're going to end it with another superhero movie, which I did really enjoy, and we saw it in theaters. We haven't seen it yet in 4K, and I cannot wait, because I know Sony does a good job with their 4K titles as well. Um, it's the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, this is a movie that it was just a must-get. We really, really love this film in theaters, and and the way that they put it into the whole you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe was really cool as well. Got all these movies on Black Friday. So that is all for this 4K update. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like, and comment. More videos are going to be coming. I'm definitely going to make this channel more active going forward. Uh, definitely uh, just wanted to have an idea of what we we're going to do as far as collecting and buying stuff. Let me know which one was your favorite that I picked up. If you guys have watched any of them, let me know um, which one you liked as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.